Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the MSP3000 mod, which is being made by forum user Tycho. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new alternative to the standard in-game Science Junior Material Bay, now in the form factor of a much smaller pod, which I very much like as, hey, it's always nice to have options. So let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at, well, uh, the one and only part that makes up this mod. So it's going to be a pretty short video here today, but let's head to the science tab and actually grab the in-game science junior for comparison's sake. And you know, it's a wonderful experiment that we've all used thousands upon thousands of times because it works well, but it's kind of big, kind of bulky, and well has some limitations because of that. Well, that's what this mod looks to uh, rectify with the much smaller MSP3000 Material Science Pod. And it's a beautiful little thing, of course bearing a striking resemblance to the Mystery Goo container, and that's for good reason. It's actually meant to balance out the Mystery Goo container. You basically have these two similarly sized and shaped things that have the same weight of a .05 tons, so that you could have a Mystery Goo container on one side, the MSP3000 on the other, and not only do you have a good symmetry, but a well-balanced craft. And besides that, you do have the much smaller form factor, so it can, you know, fit quite nicely onto smaller landers, uh, probe missions, etc. And it still opens up with a lovely interior, which I very much like. I have seen so many science part mods, which literally are just retextures of Mystery Goo containers, and that's it. So I like that this one has the doors that open up, that it has the interior bits in there. Now granted, uh, the interior bits do appear to be, from uh, the look of it, mostly copied from in here and then just kind of squished down to fit, but you know what? It still looks good and it has that interior. It's not just a part with a different paint scheme on it. So I very much do like that. I appreciate that little extra detail. And besides, it isn't just a copy of the Mystery Goo container. They do have different attachment points here. They do have a slightly different size, just generally the same shape. And of course, that lovely same weight. Now to balance things out further beyond just weight, it is also technologically balanced if you are playing in the career mode, as it is implemented a bit later on in the tree, so you'll get this uh, Science Junior well before you get the Material Science Pod, as this is added in by the miniaturization technology. So I do like that, that you end up getting this first, and then later, as your tech improves, you got a better one. So that's just cool. So let's actually head out to the world and see one of these attached to a ship, which, I mean, is going to look pretty much the same as what it just looked like in the vehicle assembly building, but hey, this is the format I've always chosen to do for these videos, so we're going to my crappy little rocket. And if we do open up the doors of this and observe the material bay, oh yeah, material study, blah blah blah, reset it, and we can oh, pan up the camera there, pan it up a little more. Okay, we can of course then observe this one as well, and there we go, material study done. And yeah, it's, it's just a nice little pod. I do very much appreciate this thing. I like the look of it. It's got that little extra bit with all the lights and colors in there. It does a nice job of balancing things out with the Mystery Goo container, because, oh god, that has been always one thing that annoyed me, just having one Mystery Goo container on a ship. Now I can throw a Material Science pod on the other side. But yeah, it's just a fun little mod that uh, I think is a cool addition to the game. So if you'd like to check this out for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.